boy Isaac Reed and we are here with another reaction. Smack Talks literally just posted another video. If you don't want to watch this video, you can go to Smack Talks channel and look at this video. It's the WWE 2K17 new features revealed, creative victory replay editor, and backstage brawl returns even more. Now we're going to react to this because I don't know uh, mostly uh, every single feature that he's going to uh, talk about. I know it's on the title, but there probably is more to it. Um, you know, he gets a lot of the updates and everything like that. Smack Talks is a cool person. He's a nice uh, YouTuber. He does a lot of the stuff for WWE 2K16 and all the old uh, stuff. Uh, so let's check this out. I'm pretty much excited for 2K17 because I will be picking it up. Uh, hopefully the day it comes out, probably order it. But uh, let's get into it. I'm pretty much excited. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we have some <coughs> huge WWE 2K17 news as 2K Sports today revealed a lot of the upcoming features, changes and additions for this year's game. Now before getting into that, we also have this brand new screenshot of Brock Lesnar's entrance which is similar to the first screenshot that we got also taken during his entrance in the WrestleMania 29 arena and that is something that I will bring up a That's bit nice. later on as far as today's news and that is this a model bit looks so much better this year. Edition. So let's get the news as 2K have revealed a lot of the changes to this year's game, starting with gameplay. So I'll read what 2K have announced and then we'll go over it at the end. So this comes from executive producer Mark Little, who states, With the WWE 2K franchise, we are striving to deliver the most authentic and realistic <coughs> WWE experience possible. Fans have been asking us to truly improve the core gameplay experience since we inherited the brand and we are taking your requests seriously, from controls to presentation to individual features. We've shifted the gameplay experience focus from an arcade centric fighting game style to a simulation based gameplay and WWE 2K17 continues pushing in that direction with both improved and new gameplay mechanics. In WWE 2K17 the fans will more than ever get to control the action how and where they want including competing in the crowd yes. and the backstage, backstage area, arena, a crowd back. for the return of playable backstage and yes, crowd sir. areas, so we delivered on this request. We also greatly improved the responsiveness of gameplay while also updating game systems like ladders, taunts and a new secondary submission system. Thank you God, As always we added fixed. thousands of new animations in WWE 2K17 so there is a lot of new gameplay for everyone to Thank back God and enjoy. We got these are just gameplay. a few of the gameplay improvements we've we in some, WWE 2K17 some, uh, all of which will provide the most authentic WWE experience to date. So as you can see there is a lot of new updates to the gameplay this year and this is the thing that I'm most excited about because not only do we now know that the have added in crowd fighting yes. but we've also got backstage brawls components Brand which will be mean a whole new backstage area to explore and hopefully if they've been listening to fans they'll also add an ability to move between areas so it won't actually go from ringside to backstage yeah, and so on I hope that's, instead of just picking up a certain a area to wrestling. Now aside from those additions, the other big thing is what 2K have said is literally thousands of new animations and that is awesome to hear because seeing those new animations are what makes the game feel really fresh each year. So not only are those animations going to be part of the core gameplay but also weapons with ladders then it should mean that we'll have more ways to use ladders like the aeroplane spin that we've seen in past games or maybe even just falling oh, animations yeah. so you can see things like falling off the ladder, landing on the ropes and all different kinds of things that will yeah. hugely improve both ladder and top C matches. They the too be updated, but we don't know how just yet. So maybe we'll see new situations added, like an apron taunt to tell your opponent to get up before you hit a springboard move, or taunts on top of the turn, but also not the old wake up taunts. But one of the things I'm really hoping to see is just the ability to stop a taunt made animation, as it's so annoying when you actually start one, but then you can't move until the animation is finished. So that's yeah. something that I'd really like to see. Additionally, we'll also have the confirmation of the secondary submission system, so I'm not sure like, how can't this stop works when it's secondary, like, oh. but it could mean that you have the current submission system in the game for one type of submission move, but then a new secondary type for a stronger submission or a finishing move. However, if it was me, then I would put it together to give players the option, so you can either set the current submission wheel or a secondary submission system, which I, I would I probably guess is going to be a great like... point. So then players can I don't like the little submission system they have in the game, like, I just, menu, which I think would be it's a really so hard, cool addition, it's so hard it gives to, players the uh, option to go with the one that they prefer. So hard Moving on, and next up we have changes to the game's creation suite, with Mark revealing the WWE 2K17 creation suite enables the WWE Universe to customise, build and share their own WWE superstars, arenas, entrances, shows and more. For WWE 2K17 we added new creation features, as well as focused on deepening and providing more options for existing good, creation good, features. Good. For example, we added many more parts, more adjustment options and elements like body hair, all of which add to the game's massive set of customization okay, so options. Like the body hair we also added a full highlight replay system which allows players to record yes, video bro, highlights finally. matches, 
The video content can be used on your creative video yes. feature, which lets players create videos. They're bringing for back the Derby's 2K13 like stuff. Videos stuff. For I mean, Derby's 13 stuff. We also deepened the Create Show feature and added a brand new Creative Victory feature to ensure everyone can create the most comprehensive WWE experience possible. Wow, you can Whether create a victory in worlds or simply find on existing tools, the power oh is in God. their hands. That's gonna be fucking awesome. So that's a great line to end on. Is with these changes, the power really is in our hands. There is I'm so much here. I'm We've got this kind of replay now. now, which is gonna be awesome. Not only for saving highlights, but also Victory putting feature? together content for YouTube, like oh used to in the past. Plus, we can use that footage to create a new video similar to what we had back in WWE 13. So that is a new yeah, that's why I said creation WWE feature. Is it just adds so much more? We've got a custom superstar coming out with a match in Tron, as opposed to a blank screen, a logo, or a completely different stars video. So I'm really looking forward to that. Plus, we've got updates to things like creating entrance, which, according to Mark Stamen, it sounds as though those can be shared online this year. So I guess that means we'll see a lot, see a lot more customizable we'll options able, there. It pretty much allows to create a lot of, uh, custom entrance. It's back like, in WWE War 2 on the original like, Xbox. You can actually create custom entrance for your animations, tell the superstar how to walk, what moves to make, how to enter the ring. There's so much more options to it, and hopefully that is something that we'll see in 2K17, as opposed to just having preset animations from the in-game superstars. Yes. So big news for creators 2 also comes in the addition of more adjustment options for created superstars. So maybe this means we'll see the return of custom sliders instead of the current system to determine body and face morphing, which should again lead to much better looking creations, as certain yeah. shapes and sizes just aren't possible with the current system. Yeah, Finally, yeah, in regards to not. creations, we also have updates to the Create Show feature and a brand new Create a Victory feature, which from the sound of it, I'm hoping means custom victory scenes, and at the very least, adding a preset victory cutscene to created superstars in the same way that we can customise their entrance. Yeah. Moving on, and one of the biggest surprises is that 2K have announced that there will be no 2 Okay, showcase mode this year. Yes! Okay, reads, yes! One of the largest and most difficult decisions we made for WWE 2K17 was to forgo building a 2K showcase. We no more 2K showcase. several showcase ideas, including options surrounding our cover star, Brock Lesnar, but all of them were not viable due to many historic WWE superstars needed, but not available for inclusion. No in more 2K game. showcase, In bitch. addition, the team is heavily focused on building and delivering great content that fans can enjoy for years to come, while the showcases only live in games from year to year. In all, we didn't feel good about creating a showcase that was not up to our standards and current development vision, so we decided to take that effort and put it into modes our community yes. requests to keep improving yes, the WWE Universe in my career. Finally, so they're really focusing on something they need to focus on. I'm really on. surprised to see 2K drop showcase mode, but I have Fuck to say, I mode. agree with it. Don't get us wrong, I enjoy showcase mode, but it's one of those modes that you can yeah. only play through once as it doesn't change. Yeah, I Plus, enjoyed it, but it was boring after you beat really it. Interesting, then it's not really going to pull you in. Plus, as I mentioned, due to certain stars not being under contract to WWE and working elsewhere, yeah. then it means people like Kurt Angle for a Brock Lesnar showcase aren't available to be in the game, and, uh, and that would mean Goldberg. it's not a huge and pivotal well, part Goldberg of the story. Not even under so, to be honest, I respect it being a game, Goldberg showcase mode this year. Instead of putting out a mode that kind of felt incomplete, and instead focus on other modes that we can keep playing through and getting more enjoyment from. One interesting little note that I do want to make though is, as we've seen in the Brock Lesnar screenshots, we've seen Lesnar making his entrance in the WrestleMania 29 arena, which we all thought was in the game due to Lesnar's showcase. However, now we know that that's not the case, it looks as though 2K are adding in various past arenas, which I think is a really good decision, as if they have the arena models from past games, then why not make use of them and put them in the game anyway? So that is a really yeah, nice I would love the old to see like a good mixture of past arenas. Speaking of other so. modes, next up is Universe Mode, with 2K stating, In WWE Universe Mode, we are working to recreate the drama and excitement seen every week on Raw, SmackDown Live and NXT. Okay. For WWE 2K17, <coughs> we created a new floor that focuses on these shows. The shows are what we all watch each week, and now with the recent brand split, are even more important. Our new show presentation system makes players feel like they're playing through a weekly episode of any WWE television or WWE network program. That's good. We also add more intrigue and possibilities by incorporating run-ins as well as pre- and post-match attacks. Just like in WWE, we never know what might happen next. Even with all these new features, presentation and possibilities, we still felt something was missing. Promos. In turn, WWE 2K17 will deliver a brand new promo engine that lets the WWE superstars express their thoughts and emotions to the WWE Universe and wow. one another. The promo engine creates a new dynamic and brings the experience closer so, like, to the WWE like, and and a a pro. Format. That's not all, we also <laughs> are a real, completely real. revamped offering of all the Universe level mode cutscenes including familiar and brand new scenarios. Collectively, WWE 2K17 represents the most comprehensive and authentic <clears throat> WWE Universe we've attempted thus far. 
So that to me sounds awesome. It's my biggest Thank issue God. with Universe Mode was that I didn't have promos in between matches. It was just playing a bunch of matches and then wait and see if there was a cutscene. Yeah. But with this update, it means that I get more of a story you what's going on. Until, like, and that's something that really makes me want to try it out and see how it works. Is it allows you to get so much more invested in what's going on. Now, aside from that, we know this changes to the presentation, which should mean things like new show intros to add to the realism, and of course, and most importantly, the added addition of not only reworked cutscenes, but brand new cutscenes, which is what we we'll always look forward to seeing each and every year. Also, although it was mentioned, with these updates to Universe Mode, I'm really hoping to see some kind of story creator worked into it, so we can at least maybe set a certain type of story underway, and then watch to see how that progresses, just like the story collection in WWE 2K15's Universe Mode. Finally, let's move on to My Career, where oh. we're told My Career also gets some exciting new features for WWE 2K17. We incorporate the new promo engine so superstars can express themselves to the WWE Universe awesome, and also awesome. call out or respond to other WWE superstars. Backstage interviews with Renee Young take on a whole new dimension with our new backstage <gasps> Oh, somebody can attack now you when you're going to attack somebody. competes, reacts, what is said and even what attires worn can make a difference in a superstar's journey through the WWE. At some point, players are also likely to come face to face with Brock Lesnar and his advocate Paul Heyman. What happens when confronted by this imposing duo will greatly shape players' future career growth in WWE. So once again, there is a load of new stuff to look forward to. That's as the awesome. promo engine that's also awesome. makes its way into that's my career, awesome. so we'll see more interaction between matches there, and that should make things like starting out in the performance center and NXT much more enjoyable as we've got superstars and oh, promos so on each other. I'm gonna tell just you my frustrations with WWE 2K16 after this. Plus with the addition of backstage brawls this year, it's cool to see that 2K have worked that in the interviews as we'll see people attacking us during segments with Renee Young and that'll lead to impromptu backstage brawls. Also, we'll have the confirmation of a new Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman storyline, which we did already hear about, as Heyman said previously that he'd recorded a lot of audio for the mode, so judging by the statement, it sounds as though we'll have the option to align ourselves with Heyman and Lesnar as a Paul Heyman guy, or go up against himself and his beast. So all in all, that sounds pretty cool, as I guess it's two kids' way of giving us something Lesnar specific due to the line of a showcase. So I'm looking forward to that, as I am a lot of the new additions this year. There seems to be so much that's been updated, and personally that's exactly what I wanted, as opposed to spending so much time putting together 2K Showcase mode, as I think the game will hugely benefit from it. Anyway guys, that covers all of today's news. There is a ton of new features in store. We've got creation modes, backstage brawls, crowd fighting, and new updates right to both there. Universe I mean, and my career. Stuff. So there is plenty That's to look forward cool. to and I cannot wait to get stuck in just to see the gameplay improvements alone. But let me know your thoughts on all of today's news in the comments and what you're most looking forward to and what you think the decision to drop the 2K showcase this year. Are you happy 2K decided to do that and work on other modes or would you prefer to see some kind of showcase? Let me know your thoughts oh, in the comments man. and make sure to stay tuned to the channel as I'll have Showcase. a lot more updates oh, coming God. for you after next week. So make sure you subscribe for that. That brings us to the end of today's video though. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay Smack tuned for tops. more and until next You're time, awesome. have an awesome day and I'll catch you later. <laughs> Alright, so my frustrations with WWE 2K16. Now, I love Showcase mode. I, 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 I enjoyed playing it, but after you play it, there's nothing you can do. Like... Nobody, after you get done playing the whole showcase mode, you, you're not going to want to go back to play it. Like, I, I guarantee you 100% you're not going to want to go back and play it just because you've already played it. And, you know, you will, it's just, why relive something when we already seen it? You know what I'm saying? I don't really, you know, it, it, showcase mode wasn't so bad. I, I give it that. It wasn't as bad, you know, but, you know, I feel as if they should more, they should have focused more on things. Like, I felt that, like, I felt these past two years, they focused more on showcase mode than more than, uh, the universe mode because universe mode needed more focus because universe mode was trash like it made no sense like I like when I play universe mode I wouldn't get cussing until like the end of my feud at the parody like I just didn't make sense but um yeah and in my career like 16 for my career like I hated the little generic backstage interviews where Renee Young you would say the same things or she would ask the same questions she would only ask two questions not even multiple questions and I, I hated the voice, like I didn't like the voice for my character. I should be able to choose different voices. Like I should be able to have the, up to seven voices to choose from. And uh, I just, I, I love 16 in my career, but it just, I felt as if it could have been a lot better. Like when I played um, in NXT, I felt it was kind of boring because we would have the same thing over again. After I'm done with a feud, oh, somebody would attack me uh, the next Monday and then I have a feud with that person and it'll keep going. Like. I wouldn't get cussing until my till I really get to the main get to the, like the main roster. 
and I would get one cutscene in NXT when Triple H comes out and, you know, claps me up, you know, you know, I felt as if I'm glad they're fixing this, uh, I'm, I'm happy that we're getting all this, uh, fighting the crowd, backstage brawl, all of that we're getting, so thank you 2K for getting rid of showcase mode and focusing on, um, uh, universe mode and career mode. I know that showcase mode was supposed to be the plan, but, uh, you know, I'm glad it's not there, and I'm looking forward to seeing anything else from 2K. Um, I am going to be purchasing 2K17, hopefully with it drops, and in showcase mode, not showcase mode, but NBA 2K17 with it drops. But thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in any other video I post. Smack Talks, thank you guys, thank you for letting me re react to this, because I know you do not mind. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll see you in any, see you in any of the video posts.